I was thinking we had a really good day today, but then I decided it was great. I mean, how often you go offshore, catch some dolphin, tag some dolphin. Saw a couple blue marlin hookups. Uh, I mean, we headed, we headed out. We stopped in about 120, 130 feet of water. We fished for dolphin, uh, trying to get one to put a satellite tag in. We couldn't find him, but we did put a few spaghetti tags in some fish. Threw a few in the box. Uh, this is one of the lures we're using. It's just an islander. Uh, we were rigging it with bahu. We were also swimming naked bahus. Uh, another bait we use is this uh, machined aluminum cedar plug, basically. It's just made out of aluminum. It's been really effective with, you know, the three or four years I've been fishing, I've done real well with dolphin on that plug. Um, you know, we caught those dolphin and tagged some, and then we headed offshore. We picked up and, and ran out to the Hunter Phantom line, and it was a beautiful day weather-wise. I mean, it was just great. And um, we were able to go out there, and, and we were putting, we, we decided to fish artificials for blue marlin, and and lo and behold, we got two baits in the water, putting a third out, and, and had uh, a blue hit this one, 200-pound class fish, and then we had a second, so we had a double header. And we fought those fish for quite a while before I pulled the hooks on the one I had on, and then you uh, managed to get yours in and release it. It was a, it was an unbelievable experience. I'd never uh, I've never caught a uh, blue marlin before, and um, standing up doing it with this. Uh, what do you call this? The uh, fighting belt. Uh, the fighting belt. This thing really helped. Um, and it was a heck of a fight. And, this, and that last five or six minutes, every few inches were hard to come by because uh, that was one tough fish. And it was one incredibly beautiful fish when we got it upside the boat. Yeah, it gives you a lot of respect for the resource. It's important to, to try to release those fish and uh, enjoy them and leave them there for the future. And mm -hmm. it's great to be able to hook up to a couple 200 pound plus marlins at the same time. It's yeah. quite a Chinese fire drill. But <laughs> I really thoroughly enjoyed it and I've had a great time today. Oh, I did too. I, uh, one of the best offshore trips I've ever been. Probably the best offshore trip I have ever been on in my life. And I really do appreciate it. But we need to do it again sometime. We will. We okay. will. Hi, I'm Joe Albee. And I'm John Moore, inviting you to join us each week as we will explore the fishing possibilities from the mountains to the coast.